back, counting double digit thousands. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 21 online gameplay. Going to be playing with the Chicago Bears going against the Tennessee Titans. A really good matchup, man. Got a good defense against one of the best or one of the best defenses in the NFL against arguably the best running back in the NFL, Derrick Henry, man. He is an absolute tank, so we're going to have to worry about him. But I will say, you know, this dude, he did use Derrick Henry, but he seemed to love Ryan Tannehill, man. As you can see early in this game, third and four throws the interception Kyle Fuller comes up with it right there I don't know what happened to Johnny Smith it looked like maybe he just like didn't jump or what but Kyle Fuller was the only person that got an animation on that ball and to start this game off on third and four this dude throws a pick six not a very good look when you're going against the Bears man you do not want to spot the Bears seven points because their defense is just like <laughs> now we don't got to put fucking Nick Foles or goddamn Mitchell Trubisky on the field great by the way, we will be starting uh, Nick Foles the entire game. So no Mitchell Trubisky, even though Mitchell Trubisky is probably the better Madden quarterback just because he has some speed. Uh, Nick Foles will be our guy in this game. But this dude comes back and, you know, makes a few plays and actually ties this game up really quickly. A really good drive by him to get uh, get himself right back in it. You know, not fold. You know, a pick six really early in the game will fuck you up. But he came out, dotted me, and, uh, you know, kudos to him, man. Ties the game up at seven. So now Cordo Patterson on the field. Getting absolutely smacked. Makes sense considering he is a wide receiver kick returner playing running back now. Interesting. But right there, I try to run with Nick Foles, and you can see how god awful and slow this man is, bro. I mean, <laughs> he actually did throw a dot. Cordo Patterson making a nice little catch on the sideline. So he had a good run and then a good catch, and we cap it off with a David Montgomery touchdown. So a pretty good drive by us, man. You know, Nick Foles, he'll be interesting to use the entire game considering, you know, you guys saw. I tried to run and it just uh, he looks slow as, as slow as molasses. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes later. And you know if we try to run with him again or if we just end up uh, you know trying to sit in the pocket and make passes. Which spoiler alert, that's what we do because um, yeah. After I tried to run with Nick Foles once, it just it wasn't happening. But you guys could see Derrick Henry is just uh, I mean well I mean they showed me a very very slow down replay of what he just did to one of my defenders and yeah it was not pretty. Derrick Henry is an absolute manimal man. But like I said, this dude. He leaned on Ryan Tannehill a lot. He's thrown six times, thrown for a touchdown, thrown for a pick, and also thrown for 80 yards. With Derrick Henry, I don't think he's actually done that much. You know, he's ran a few times. He's tried, just hasn't really got much out of it. You guys have only seen like a run or two with him, really, that have been worth showing. Um, but he's leaning on Tannehill a lot. And you will see in a second, when he's making throws like that, can you really blame him when he leans on Tannehill a little bit? You know, his first interception, you know, I give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. It's early in the game. He tries to chuck it up, tries to make a play. It was semi-open, not completely open. This dude hunkered down after his first pick, man. You know, he threw two touchdowns, both of them to Corey Davis, and they were both really, really good drives. And right now, we have to answer because at this point, you know, we should be down 14-7. You know, you take out that pick six. You know, you give this guy a break on that. Should be down by seven. You know, we really have a gift to start this game. So right now, we got to keep putting points on the board. We got to keep this guy down. We got to keep him coming back. We can't give him a chance to take the lead in this game. But right now, it's not looking great. As we do get the clock to under a minute after we got sacked the first time, I realized after I got sacked once, I doubt we're going to be able to get a first down after that, and I end up getting sacked again. So at least we run the time down a little bit, and, uh, you know, we chucked it up on third and 25. Should have been a pick, but, um, you know, it was either going to be an arm punt or an actual punt, and ends up being the latter. So we end up punting him the ball. 40 seconds left. Actually runs down to 20 after, I think he runs on um, first down and doesn't get much, and then just kind of let the clock run uh, before calling his timeout. But he went to Johnny Smith over the middle for a first down. Really not enough to get himself into field goal range. And from the 31, he chucks it up and it is intercepted by Deshaun Gibson. I'm not really reacting to this because you wouldn't think that a pick with this much time left would really get you anything, right? Well, uh, when he got Nick Foles, man, anything can happen. Is you know One thing that can happen is one second turning into a cool three seconds as I swear to God that last second on the clock stayed up there for way, way, way too long. But you know what? I will not complain as this dude fucks up I did not think he fucked up but he actually did fuck up he throws a pick to Deshaun Gibson we get a decent return off of it It wasn't anything crazy you know it's pretty solid but not anything to you know write home about but it gets us just close enough for us to be able to throw a three yard out route and barely gets us in field goal range for our kicker and just like that we go up 17 to 14 and this dude actually comes out kicking the onside and would you believe it he actually got it <laughs> This dude actually got the onside kick, but then throws a pick a few plays later. Didn't really have a chance to react to that because you don't expect people to get the onside kicks, but he did, man. He ends up getting the onside, and he actually missed a touchdown 
wide open down the left side of the field that would have put him up 21 to 17 but instead he go, uh, goes over the middle and it's intercepted by Roquan Smith so what a weird weird series of events man we get a a field goal off of really I did not think there was any chance we were going to get a field goal at the end of half or any sort of points but we get that he kicks an onside no way he's going to get that right nope he fucking gets that and then he misses a wide open touchdown that would have gave him the lead and now on second and goal we take a two score lead as Jimmy Graham is wide open in the left side of the end zone just basically dragged him all the way to the end and of course Madden defenders they are just frozen in time and uh, that one dude just kind of stood there and I just had to wait for Jimmy Graham to pass him and it was an easy touchdown so after all of that after all the random shit that just happened we are up 24 to 14 and this dude is stuck in fourth and 18 and he turns it over on downs he fell apart bro that field goal at the end of half that you know like I said was kind of a miracle broke him I mean he came out kicking onsides granted like I said he got it but then he threw a pick a few plays later doesn't really mean much if you turn it over that you know a couple plays after the fact but, uh, you know, like I said, missed the touchdown, and then we capitalized on everything else that we got throughout this game. And right now, we are up 31-14 to 14 as Allen Robinson just kind of put a little cherry on there. There is still 3 minutes and 40 seconds left, but I felt like with that Allen Robinson touchdown, he was playing fuck it defense. Like, I'm either going to force you, you know, into a turnover or a pick, you know, some something. You know, just some sort of turnover, or you're going to score a touchdown. That's what it felt like, and I, I felt like I was making good reads the whole game, man. You know, I felt comfortable with uh with Nick Foles in the pocket and I was making decent reads I took the sacks when I just knew I wasn't going to be able to make a play and I didn't throw an interception the whole game now granted the one that I did should, probably should have thrown was going to be an arm punt anyway but Nick Foles played really solid on the day man I mean really really solid better than Ryan Tannehill because he did miss some throws you guys saw completely overthrew AJ Brown a play ago man but he actually threw a dot to John New Smith right after that so Say what you want. But overall, this game has been interesting to say the least, man. I think it was a very competitive game all around up until, you know, really halftime is when things start to fall apart. But even then, you can see this guy's driving all the way down the field and he throws a pick on the two. Like, he just can't keep himself out of the bad, like, the really bad plays. The interceptions, just the ones that tend to turn into points. And, you know, right now, he has 10 points off turnovers. Let's go ahead and make it, uh, Let's make it 17 as we end up deciding to run just a wide, empty backfield wide receiver screen. And that's almost a 104-yard reception. I mean, from where he was standing in the end zone, that is like, I'd say, a 102-yard reception touchdown for Ted Ginn. And that is now 17 points he has given up off of turnovers. And you just can't win with that, bro. You can't give up 17 points off of your own turnovers. That's just... Uh, I don't know who else, who else's turnovers they would be. I don't know why I worded it that way. But you know what I mean, man. You know, when you turn the ball over that much and give up that many points doing it, yeah, that's just not going to happen. So we really shouldn't have won by this much, but, you know, we end up winning by this much because Tayshawn Gibson had two picks. Kyle Fuller had two interceptions. Uh, Ted Ginn had a 102-yard reception touchdown. Granted, it was garbage time, but still pretty good. And Nick Foles just played solid all day. Look at that stat line, bro. I mean, granted, that last... Uh, that that last throw may have padded it a little bit but still Nick Foles played really really good even up until you know that 99 yard touchdown he still was like I think 12 for 14 for like 140 yards and two touchdowns no interceptions that's like a really good game and then you add that 90 yarder on top of it and then boom he's got fucking 260 yards and three touchdowns it's really good game for Nick Foles man you know can't really underestimate that enough or understate that enough the fact that we came into this game thinking that that would be you know most likely our issue but it ended up being our strength along with our defense. The defense played immaculate, you know, really just came up clutch when we needed them to. And our offense didn't miss a beat, didn't make a mistake. Uh, really, the only mistake we could have made was that throw that I just hucked up at the end of half, the fuck it ball. But the only reason I did that was because I was planning it either being an arm punt because nobody was open or an actual punt. And uh, I'm actually really happy that that ball was dropped because after we got the punt or after we punted it to him, we ended up getting the uh, interception that led to the three points that basically made this dude fall apart. So overall, a very interesting and good game. Another lighting glitch for Madden. What else is new? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you're enjoying these uh, these online gameplays with the reg teams. Let me know what other teams you guys want to see if you are you know, curious or want to just, you know, recommend something because most likely if you do recommend something, I will play that team. So just let me know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate the guy for the next one. And as always, I'm out. Peace.